Ah, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're back, uh, getting ready to continue this quest line. So we just got done with the monastery. I know, it's that quest, you know, the monastery quest. We got through it though, guys. In one episode, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too difficult. Um, so we need to now go to the agreed upon location, which is the swamps over here. So, uh, let's get traveling. We're gonna fast travel to Sasau and uh, go to these swamps and see uh, what the heck's gonna happen. Oh, let's ignore that. All right, we're in Sasau, and there should be a uh, little river crossing here, if I am not mistaken. Oh yeah, here it is. We're gonna go below the dam, right here. There we go, come on. You just jump, there we go. And that's how you cross the river, right there. Pretty easy, easy peasy. So now we'll head to the swamps, the swamps of Sasau. And this is where those bandits that we're technically working for, this is where they hang out. Or this is where they they want us. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Let's light this light this bad boy. There we go. Now we wait. Poor Henry. Look at him. Im impatient Henry. He's not used to these kind of waiting stuff. Dude, look at this shot right here. Look at this. Look at that cathedral, man. So good. Morning, sunshine. Hope we didn't wake you. Kurva. Did you have to sneak up on me like Kurva. We are thieves. Besides. We had to make sure you weren't followed. Or trying to lead us into a trap. But enough of this chit chat. Let's get down to business. We heard there was some trouble at the monastery. Question is, was it the right sort? Did you do that job we agreed? Yes. Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? The world's full of idiots. It's done. You've got proof? He had nothing on him. No coin, not a thing. So you wrung his neck and found nothing on him? That's a disappointment, ain't it? I had nothing either. All the novices have to hand everything over once they enter the monastery. Right. So you don't even know if you wrung the right guy's neck? I'm wondering if you wrung anyone's neck at all. Just go there and ask around. Everyone will tell you about the murder. Oh, yeah, come on. Into an ambush, more like. Forget it, boy. I have a much better idea. Really? Bastard. Really? Are you sure? All right. You guys I'll sure you want to do this? You sure you want to do this? Thanks, mate. Uh, uh, Dude, you're uh, dead already. Jeez, you guys are trash. Oh, you're just gonna sit there and aim at me? Like, come here. Get away from my horse. I don't want to fight you near the horse. Oh my god, dude. These guys are trash. I'm gonna find out where they camp now. Maybe I can find a clue on their bodies. Maybe. There's a strange die. It looks like an ordinary die at first sight, but it's not. The numbers, the numbers are, wrong. are wrong. Maybe they used it as a sign to identify themselves. But that still doesn't tell me how to find their encampment. Hmm. Okay, so we need to figure out where this encampment is. I'm taking all of their die, dang it. Alright, so I don't think there's any clues over here. If we look at the quest log... Since I didn't manage to find out where the bandits have set up camp, now I'll have to re uh, 
redouble my efforts to find it. I'll try asking around Sasau. Maybe someone there has caught. All right. So the only th place that, like, the go-to place, in my opinion, to get information about locations is taverns, right? Like taverns is usually the go-to place to get info. There's, they always get strangers who, you know, go there. People get drunk and they, oh, an ambush. Oh, now yeah, let's fight it. Fucking come on then! Whoa! Guys, I'm trying to make a living here, all right? Yeah, I'm ch you can't be demonetizing my channel like this. Okay, you guys are rude. You, you, you literally stand no chance. You're dead. You They're literally like throwing pieces of paper at me. This is. You're still alive. I'm on an important mission. Important mission. All right. I'm not even going to loot them because I know they're going to have nothing on them. I'll take the weapon though, actually. Oh, wait. That's right. You can't. Like spears, you can't hold. Is this a torch? Oh, it's an axe. Actually, you know what? I think I need a torch. Here. Take the torch. Oh, you got some five groschen, everyone. Wow. You know, maybe if you guys just got a real job, huh? Instead of just harassing innocent people on the road. You pieces of filth. All right. Anyways, as we were. Yeah, I'm just getting the sword so we can work on our maintenance and stuff. Try to level that up. Let's go to Sasau. And we now need to go to the tavern and ask the innkeeper or really anyone there if they've seen anything uh, suspicious. And alley -oop. Oh, there it is. I almost missed it. <laughs> All right, we'll start with the innkeeper. Hey, how's it going? You guys playing uh, some games here? You winning? You having a good job? Doing a good job? All right, here we go. Innkeeper. God save you. What can I do for you? Have you seen anything fishy going on? There's rumors of a large band of brigands nearby. Have you heard anything about it? I have, as it happens. Yes. Two days back, a traveling mill hand stopped by and got very drunk. He made such a scene, I had to throw him out. But before then, he was babbling about some encampment. Said he saw a bunch of nasty looking fellows. Pitching camp at the old stronghold, Vranik. Vranik. Like I said, he was drunk as a lord. But I'm sure he meant Vranik. To think they dare, right under Sir Hanish's nose. What's that? Oh, nothing. Uh, thank you. You told me exactly what I need to know. Okay, yeah, sweet. All right, so that's where the cannon is. It's down here. All right, so before we do that, let's actually go back to Rate. And we're going to talk about this issue at, uh, or, t you know, Sir, Sir Divish and Hanush and, or not Divish, uh, Radzig, Sir Radzig. And here we are. So we just need to head over to the castle here. And we need to report to Sir Radzig and Sir Hanush on the investigation. He is in here. Excuse me, sir. Sir, I have news, and I'm sorry to say it's nothing good. After everything that's happened, you have even worse news. That's almost impressive. I'm afraid so. It's going to happen again, and on an even bigger scale. <laughs> You're full of good cheer, aren't you? What exactly will happen? It seems the Pribislavitz encampment was just the start, and they're far from defeated. How did you find out? I found a recruiting agent who worked for them and let him recruit me. Ah, God's holy hat. You never cease to surprise me, lad. And what did you find out? They have another much bigger encampment in Vranik near to Sasau. What do those bastards want? And who the hell are they? To hurt us? Conquer the region? I'm not sure yet, but I can find out. How? I'm one of them now. I have their secret sign. I know where their camp is, 
All I have to do is go and take a look. That's out of the question. It's too risky. Sire, compared to everything I went through to get this, it will be child's play. I already passed their test. They trust me. Then we'll have to attack them before things get out of hand. Ideally, right now, when they're not expecting us. Once we catch that mangy little shit, we can ask him nicely what he wants. But then again, before we attack, it would be useful to have a spy go and scout out how many of them there are and what they're up to. I don't want you to take any unnecessary risks. It's much less risky than our raid on Privis Lavitz. All right then, Hal. That is true. Go there and find out how many of them there are, and what their plans are, whatever you can. But don't stick your neck out too far. Yes, sir. Godspeed, lad. Yeah, that is true. Like, um... Everything that I've been through... Yeah, I've done way riskier quests and missions yeah. compared to this. Alright, so now let's uh, let's go check out the encampment. I'm gonna go That's ahead and praise... Boy. That's um, my boy. Praise Mud here. You'll beat him as well. There's some bacon. There you go. Alright. And we will fast travel... Back to Sasal and travel to the encampment. Actually, you know, it's getting kind of late, so we might sleep at Sasal and then um, then go to the encampment. So yeah, let's just go. Let's go to our our bed at the tavern, and then we'll we'll head to the encampment. Um, well, it's early in the morning, and of course, it's raining like hell. Oh my god, dude! Look at this. Mutt, you're gonna get a cold. Get under... Eh, well. It's always raining lately, you know? It's like, what, what the heck? I want some sunshine in my life. Alright, so we will now fast travel down here. And we will head to the encampment and see what happens. And we're now at the other side of Sasal. Let's go ahead and make our way, which it looks like we kind of have to go off the beaten path here. There's a little trail here. What's going on? Come on. There's a little bit of a trail here that we'll use. Kind of get up here. I don't know if... There we go. It's going to be a steep hill, but this is where we have to go. We gotta try to find a path around these rocks here. Let's see if we can get over here. Uh, I think we can. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, easy, easy, boy, easy. I think we can get up here. It's steep. Come on, come on. There we go. And we're almost there. Come on. Oh, it's so steep. There we go. We got it. Some bushes in the way. Oh, yeah. We made the clearing. I mean, this is why it's, you know, tough to find this location. And here's the camp. Do we just walk in? Fast travel point. Nice. All right, so we have a fast travel. Oh, we have a skill, guys. Alchemy. Sweet. See, cure or cook food in your inventory will swallow 20% slower. Healing potions will heal you 50% more. That's pretty good. Witcher potions will fill up 30% less, which means you can drink more of them. Uh, I guess we'll do the healing. I didn't even realize. Hello. What? Can abort some quests in progress? Uh-oh. I don't think we have any side quests going on. Oh, well. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I think the only side quest we had going on was the Matthew and Fritz thing, which I don't really care too much about, but here we go. What do you want? Let me inside. Inside, eh? What's the password then? I came here for a game. Show me that. 
Aye. All right. Welcome to Vranik, comrade. Thank you for your kind welcome, comrade. Who should I report to? Eric. He should be in the house, at the top. All right, let's go talk to Eric. Yeah, it was very easy. Very easy. All right, let's just kind of walk around and get a good, get a good view. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's your deal? What's your deal, buddy? Is that all? Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, hold. Okay, 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 okay. I okay. All right. I my bad. My bad. I guess I wasn't supposed to open that chest because, uh, wow, that, uh, <laughs> I was just seeing what was in it. I wasn't, that was yeah, easy. let's oh, better take a look around. Here. Yeah. Let's just have a take a look around. What is happening now? God, I won't get too close to these guys. Let's see. Do they attack me normally or? No, yeah, it was just because I opened that chest. Do not open the chest. They will get mad. Alright, just having a good look around. Hey, what's up, guys? You don't look intimidating at all. I could probably kill all you guys. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Pretty impressive. These fellows aren't paupers, that's for sure. I'm telling you. First, you throw in That's a It's a pretty big force here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real. Very big force. Hey, what's up? Yeah, the wall here isn't too high. What's up? Hey, how's it going? I don't want to get too close. I don't want to upset them. So we'll just keep walking around, seeing what we see. What's up? How's it going? You guys doing all right? Not only strong outer walls, but inner ones too. This isn't good news. This must be where the commanders are. Hey, how's it going? Alright, so before we go in there, I want to make sure we look at everything. Okay. Having a wee look around. I'm gonna make sure I trigger it, like, because if we look at our quest, scout the enemy. Yeah, so we should just keep scouting until we finish that. Alright, let me see. Um, let me talk to the. Other, I'm talking to a bandit here, so let's just see. How did you end up here, anyway? He has to say. <laughs> You're a bit green around the gills, aren't you? Me? I'm right at home here, see? Whenever the lords are fighting each other, you'll find me and my trusty sword on one side or the other. <laughs> Whichever pays best. Nice. How are you? How it? Not bad. I've only been here a few days, but I ain't complaining. Food, booze, and good company. Well, company. <laughs> hey, I'm new here. Can you tell me what's going on? This is what it looks like. Boozing. What else is there to do? Some stupid fuck is trying to keep up their fighting form. But why bother? This kind of force. We'll go through any opposition like a knife through butter. Interesting. Have you heard anything about what we'll be doing next? Of course. Early tomorrow morning, there'll be a big sortie. Everyone around here knows that. A big sortie. Okay. Well, I know where Eric is, so... Okay, well, we didn't get any extra information from him. I, I've literally ran everywhere around this uh, camp. So I think we've 100% scouted it, you know. There's not any more that we can scout. Um, we can try just kind of running around the backside here. Oh, there's a little wall here. Let's see, maybe if I go up here. I don't think I've gone up here yet. Gives us a good view of everything. No, nothing. Nothing, Henry. You're not going to say anything. Uh. All right. Well, let's go talk to Eric. So he is 
I believe in here. Ah, uh, yes, Eric, it is. What do you want? Kozlik sent me. Ah, more reinforcements. You're the one from the monastery. Yes, sir. So you really killed that turncoat? Yes, sir. Well done. I heard about you, and quite honestly, I didn't think you'd succeed. So can you handle a sword? Yes, I know what I'm doing. Well, I think it's best if we put you to the test. Go to our combat master, Vanyek. He'll soon find out what you're made of. Just go downhill, as far as the stockade. His tent is right next to the training arena. All right, sir. All right, so we gotta we gotta prove ourselves. The combat master. So they have a little training area in the camp. We're gonna uh, like I, yeah, we're gonna crush them. The beer comes last. We are gonna crush them. Is this you? No. There you are. Are you combat master Vanyak? <laughs> Aye, that's me. What do you want? I'm Henry. Eric said you'd try me out. Should you use your real sword. name, Henry? Ah, another greenhorn. Nice to see Kozlik's doing his job. Mind you, most of the peasants he sends me couldn't fight a pile of manure with a pitchfork. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? You look familiar. We know each other from Scalitz. I'm curious. Yes, you taught me sword fighting in Scalitz. Oh, this is the guy. Yes, I do remember. We met at the alehouse. Well, I'm glad you made it out alive. I took to my heels before it even started. All right, let's see what you're good for. Have you got a weapon? If not, you can borrow one over there. Now, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. All right, let's see what you're made of. You call that combat? Shit. It didn't even start yet, dude. Ow! Go on, go. 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 Ah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. One hit and he's done? Come on. Jesus, you got me. You're a lot better than most of the fuckers here, lad. Well done. I've had a bit of practice. So I see. I'll tell Eric what you've got in you, don't worry about that. But so you don't think old Vanyak has passed it, I'll teach you one trick you'll be glad to know. Oh, that's very generous of you. Well, I don't want to take it to the grave with me. All right, listen. Before you start twisting and turning, take a good firm stance with your legs wide apart, like this. As if you're about to let off a huge fart. I think I've got it. Thanks. Okay. All right, we leveled up. Um, sweet. What level are we at now? Level 18. Fantastic. All right, let's see what we can do here. Healing, penalties, release from jail, night rider, manly odor, purpose along without food. Okay. I guess we'll do scout. The increase the sight distance of fast travel. Uh, your chance of evading. Uh, first aid. Bandages are 25% more effective. I guess we'll do first aid. None of these really help us too much here. Alright. Back to Eric. Back to old Eric. He's all the way up here. Oh, cool horse. Horse. All right. Sir, may I? What is it? Uh-oh. I went to the fight master as you ordered, and I... What's the matter? Lost your tongue? Look who it is. I, I know what's troubling the unmaster. He's surprised to see me here. And the feeling's mutual. 
When did you start recruiting Radzik's people, Eric? Radzik? Indeed. This boy is very dear to him. And I expect he's looking for this? Oh, yo, that's my sword! You bastard. <laughs> Henry. Gotta keep it chill, bro. He's coming round. I apologize for the discomfort, but it's for your own safety. And ours, of course. You can count yourself lucky, lad. I'm gonna keep you alive. I'm sure your father will pay a nice fat ransom for you. My father's dead. That lucky of yours wouldn't even let me bury him. He doesn't know, Eric. Nobody told him. They told me, a foreigner, but not him. How very inconsiderate. I'm sure you'd rather hear it under different circumstances and from someone else, boy. But beggars can't be choosers. Your father, your real father, is alive. You even know him. It's your liege lord, Radzik Kobela. Yo! How much can he really care about you? Here you are, a homeless orphan, and he still hasn't acknowledged you. Your parents are both dead, aren't they? I thought so. And yet, Radzig still hasn't told you the truth. Could it be that he's ashamed of you? Hmm. I wonder if you'll want to pay that ransom after all. Well, best not think about that. If your father won't pay your ransom, you have no value to me. My father's dead. I understand why you feel that way. My own childhood was not dissimilar. How strange that we should have something in common. But I've delayed long enough. Now it's time for you to tell me why you came here. I was looking for my father's sword which was stolen by a certain bastard. And I found it. But I wonder which father you mean. In a way, it belongs to both. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. I'm gonna kill you with it. You're hardly in a position to threaten me. But now I think of it, why not? When your father, your real father, pays, I'll give you an opportunity to try. I think that's very generous of you. Isn't it? <laughs> Radzik will cross you, and I'll be there to see it. I very much doubt it. You spied in our camp. You must realize that your father hasn't a fraction of the forces I've gathered. And now, with the king in captivity, there's no one to levy troops to come to your aid. <laughs> Even united with Hanush and Divish, your father couldn't raise more men than I have. The only force in this country capable of defeating me is Sigismund's. And he pays me. When he wins, I win. Everything I take now will be mine. And I plan to take everything. So meet the new lord of the realm. A man like you will never rule here. Ugh. Have you never heard of Lord Sokol of Lamberg or Sahinek the Dry Devil? They fought for your king and plundered the estates of the lords in Austria, just as I'm doing here. Like they say, the stronger dog fucks the bitches. <laughs> and war is a nasty business. I love Sir? It. It's time. Now, I'm afraid I have more important business to attend to. I'll leave Udo here to keep you company. And let's hope for both our sakes that your father pays up. Farewell. Rotten hell! <laughs> Knock some manners into him, Udo. Come on, Eric, let's go. We've got work to do. I'm gonna say that whenever I beat someone in like a game or something, I'll be like, you know, the stronger dog. Whatever he said, fucks the bitches. <laughs> Henry, wake up. Can you hear me? Jesus, that brute really worked you over. Here. Try to drink. Who is this? Who's helping me? The, the sword master? I thought you'd never come round. How do you know my name? 
Don't you recognize me? Oh, shoot. It's Bishak. You fucking traitor. You throw me to those bastards and then look me in the eye like nothing shh, happened. Shh, quiet. Maybe we started off on the wrong foot. But I'm your only chance to get out of your life. So do you want my help or not? Redemption. The path of redemption. Escape from the encampment. What do you want? I want to get you out of here. But if you'd rather, I can leave you to rot and get the shit kicked out of you by Istvan's bruiser. Uh, why do you want to help me? Why would you, of all people, want to get me out of here? I've got my reasons. If not for the good of my soul, then for the good of my purse. It'll cost you a few groschen, and that's all you need to worry about. You shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Shouldn't I? Even when it comes from a treacherous bastard who set his cutthroat friends on me when I was trying to bury my parents. I won't deny we didn't get off to a very good start. But this is a chance to start over and let bygones be bygones. Uh, why do you really want to help me, really? So what exactly are your reasons? Nothing you need to care about. Let's just say it's a personal matter. Let's hit him with the coward. You don't have the guts to tell me the truth. I'm not going anywhere with a coward. Not a day passes without these cutthroats pulling daggers on each other. And I'm the youngest, so they make a slave out of me. <laughs> a bandit's life isn't quite how you imagined it, eh? My heart bleeds. But you could easily make a run for it on your own. Why bother with me? Look, I just want to live a normal life. For that, I need peace and some coin. You need to get out of here, and you've got coin. My help won't cost you a tenth of what Istvan would want from Sir Ratzik. Why shouldn't we help each other? Why don't you escape yourself? Well, he kind of explained that he needs the money. How do you propose to do it? Finally, we're getting somewhere. I know a way you can get out of the fortress without anyone seeing you. I'll untie you, and you'll have to make your own way there. It shouldn't be hard at this time of night. I'll wait for you outside. Afterwards, you'll tell your noble father I helped you so they don't hang you. And naturally, you'll pay me something for the risk I'm taking. Risk? Sounds riskier for me than for you. Not really. What are they going to do with you if they catch you? They want to ransom you, so the worst they'll do is lock you up again. But me, who was supposed to be guarding you and let you escape? Nobody's going to pay no ransom for me, friend. Friend. <laughs> what about my possessions? Eric has your things. It would be suicide to try and get to them. Forget them. Oh, wonderful. So I'm supposed to make a run for it like this? It'd be better if you wore something to blend in, it's true. But I can't go and get you anything. I'm supposed to be guarding you. So if I leave my post, I'll have to avoid the others just the same as you. All right then, let's get out of here. Untie me. That's what I want to hear. But first, swear you'll tell Sir Ratzik I helped you. And that you'll pay me too. You have my word. What's the plan? All right, I'll have to trust your man of honor. Now listen, I found a place where you can easily get out. Down in the camp on the slope above Sasau, there's a place where they throw the waste over the wall. The pile of shit reaches almost to the top of the stockade. All we have to do is jump over and we'll have a soft landing. Then we're free. Free and covered in shit. So that's all? Well, first, we both have to get there. We can't let anyone see either of us. I'm supposed to be guarding you and you're... Well, I'm supposed to be guarding you. So we have to keep to the shadows and stay away from prying eyes. I'll go first. There shouldn't be anyone outside in front of the barn. When you're out, go left along by the wall. There are cliffs everywhere, so try not to get yourself killed. I'll wait for you not far from the camp, by the dead tree between the path and the brook. Good luck. Okay. Oh, the game saved. I was going to manually save because uh, I want my stuff back. Um, because that stuff is very important. I have some good stuff, dang it. And I have, like, one of the best swords in the game, so I'm not going to just 
let that go. Um, so we don't have we don't have any uh, lock picks. So uh, the game did save here. I'm just gonna go ahead and oh, I don't have any. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it saved, so I should be all right. We need to get my stuff. So we check. Um, okay, so B is my stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and close this door. Just in case someone walks by, they'll be like, hey, you know, the door's closed. So I think if I go behind... Yeah, there's a little path over here. And I think if we go this way... We might have an opportunity getting my stuff. I don't know. We could try killing this guy, and he might have a lockpick on him. Hold on, let me try sneaking up on him. Worst case, we just reload it. Quiet, quiet. Nice. All right, drop the body. Uh, we're gonna kill him. Yeah, we killed him because I don't want him waking up. And we got the lock pick here and that's what we wanted. We'll take his groschen too. And you know, that might be dark, but ooh, we'll take that as well. Let's see. Uh, 2.3k. Ooh, he's got some good stuff here. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Okay. Wow, he's got some really good stuff. Okay. We don't want to take too much because, uh, you know, we don't want to carry too much. I don't think we have my horse's inventory. All right, so we got a lock pick now. So now we gotta figure out how to get to the chest. Okay, it looks like there's possibly a path here. Can we, oh, can we go in here? There's gotta be a way, cause I know if we go through, No, you don't see me. Oh, wait, what's in here? I can't see anything. That's the problem. All right, so we're walking back to where I was. There's another guard here. Oh, you know what? We have a new stealth thing. So let's, um, let's actually level up because we might get something good with the stealth. Level 5 stealth, nice. Let's see, after committing a crime, you get a plus 1 bonus of strength. No. When crouching, your movement gets a 30% stealth bonus. That's pretty good. Allows you to kill from stealth. You have Oh, yes. If you have, you have to have an inventory of a dagger. Okay, so we have a dagger, which cannot be equipped, however. You have to have it in your inventory. Okay, so let's just get stealth kill. Because that's going to be actually pretty useful. All right, let's pick up the body. Ooh. We're gonna move him over here. So nobody sees. Let's drop. And then we're gonna kill him. I know that's dark, but like, whatever. Oh, Henry! You dog. That was nasty. Take the meat, take the groschen. And these guys have some quality stuff on them, so we're gonna definitely take you know, I'll take the salami, take the pretzel. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. All right. So yeah, he's not as, he doesn't have as good as stuff as the other guy, but he's got some stuff here. That's one less guard we have to worry about. And let's see if there's any way we can sneak. Oh, there's a door right here. All right. This is good. 
little side door. All right, I don't think there's... Wait, this is... Wait. Oh, wait, I just realized this is where we're, we were being held up. Okay, so this is not the room we want to be in. But we do have a lockpick now, so I think we can... Um, I guess, like, try just going straight through the door here. I don't know. Uh, God. No. That's not where we want to go. Do, 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 do. What? <laughs> Maybe this way? I don't know. Dang it. There's a chest over here. Is this the chest? No. Ooh, but there's saves here. Nighthawk potion? Yes. Holy crap. This is some good stuff. Hold on, let me try the uh, Nighthawk. You know what we could do? We could just put this on and uh, put this on. <laughs> and, uh, you know, let me just get some stuff going and then let's um, eat this. Oh my God, we can see now. Oh, we can see. Wait, is that a door over there? There's got to be a way to get over there, because this is not where we want to be. Oh my god, it's like daytime. It's weird. Hey! What do we got here? Alright, I'm just going in. Screw this guy. I'm just going to kill him. Yeah! Come on. There we go. Nice. Good jerk. All right, take his grotion. Take his lockpick too, just in case. All right, does he have anything else good? No. All right. Stay low, stay low. Close the door here. I guess, I mean, we just had to kill him, you know? Because I, I, I mean, how else were we... Wait, how do we get into here? Was there a way to actually get in here? I don't think so. I think that was the only way to get in, so... Oh, there's a lockpick hard over here. Lockpick hard. Hmm. So, there's no key. Oh, wait, wait. There is a key. Nice. Lock. Yes! Give me all my stuff back. Oh my god. What about this? Let me try to open this. I'm curious. Hell yeah, and a lock picking went up. Oh yeah, 200 groschen? Absolutely. See what is this? What there are many types of arrows available piercing arrows for combat, hunting arrows. Oh wait, no. Improves the hearing and lightens your step. Lock lock picking, pickpocketing, and stealth skills increased by five for ten minutes. Yes. Alright. So we'll take that stuff and then let's go ahead and put our armor on. This is uh, that was pretty fun. I don't remember it playing out like that. Um the first time as I, I remember getting my stuff back all right let's that's not our helmet here let's move uh first let's put on our original um uniform all right pantyhose there we go pantyhose <laughs> the black hose you know what i mean <laughs> tight black hose all right <laughs> Anyways, we got our equipment back on. That's good to go. Uh, oh, let's put this back on, actually. Because that's better, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So we'll put this away. Uh, oh, we can't put it. What about this? Can we wear this? I'm going to wear this. Yes. Yes, we look awesome. Okay. And this isn't as good. This isn't as good. All right, so we're good to go, I think. Got everything in place here. Are we still carrying too much? A little bit, but we'll be okay. So we just think we got to make our way out of here, and then we have to um, find that exit. All right. 
here we go. Still have my night vision going. So he said we want to turn left and then go down the the side here, I believe. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna go all the way down here. Use our night vision here. Night vision has been a huge help. Okay, we're gonna walk over this bush. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Where are we? I think I'm stuck. Okay, thank God. We got over the bush again. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. No, this is the right way. I just need to figure out how to exit out of here. I guess I could have walked. Yeah, I need to I need to get on this this over here. So let me figure out a better path here. There's gotta be. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. What are you talking about? Alright. Oh god. What's going on there? Let's see if they spot us. I'm just gonna stay. Hey, who's there? Nobody's here. The Damn it! Alright! Run! Alright, it's nice knowing you. Thanks. It's been real. It's been good, but it hasn't been real good. Jesus, what a fucking st What have we got to here? Entertainment. Good job! Oh, there we go. Oof. That was intense. Lee! Lee! Right, I'm just glad we got our stuff back. Uh, I don't think they're still chasing. Even though that you know the the battle music is playing, I think we're we're good to go. We we escaped out of there. We just now have to run over. Okay, we're almost there. Let's see what this jerk has to say. I don't, you know, I don't know. It's kind of like, should I help this guy? Because, you know, he, he didn't help me out of, like, redemption. You know, he's like, oh, I, I want to help you because I did you wrong. You know, that kind of... He literally just did it to... Let's see, what is he doing? I see him running around over here. What, what are you doing? So, we're out. Why is it so dark? It's time for you to keep your part of the bargain. Uh, fine. Don't worry, I keep my word. But I have to go to Ratai and see my... My father. They took my coin when they captured me. Fine. We should get out of here as quick as we can anyway. Well, you'll have to help me. Somehow the massage I got from that big bastard didn't do me a lot of good. I don't suppose you have a horse hidden around here. A horse? <laughs> Actually, I didn't think of that. What? I have my stuff back? Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, I was like, I got money. Any word about your boy, Radzig? Nothing yet. Well, let's hope he hasn't done anything rash. Wouldn't surprise me given the balls that he has. <laughs> now I wonder where he might have got those from. Don't start, Hanush. I'm sorry, sir. This fellow- Henry. Father. <laughs> I told you he had balls. Well, I see that you haven't been idle, and we'll certainly need to have a talk later, but not quite so publicly. It looks like you have plenty to tell us. What happened? I, uh... 
I got a bit tied up at Vranjik. But now I know what they're planning. Yes. What's being planned? And who's planning it? Spit it out, boy! There's no longer any doubt about it. It's that Hungarian noble you were hosting on the same day Sigismund pillaged Skalitz. Sir Istvan Toth. Toth and his people. Everything fits. They're the ones making the counterfeit money and using it to hire mercenaries from all around. He's already got quite an army at Vranjik. But what the fuck is he after? I can tell you exactly. And you won't like it. How's that? I had quite a long talk with him. What? When I was trying to get into his camp, I was taken captive. We had a bit of a chat. Actually, he told me his entire plan. What? I suppose he thought he didn't need to keep it secret any longer. I'm not all that surprised. Why not? What's that bastard planning? He's in the service of Sigismund. He wants to destroy King Wenceslas' allies. That means us. He's gathered a very large force. I'm honestly not sure if we can defeat them. And he knows no one will come to our aid now. That fucking cunt! I'll skin him alive! How many men has he got? More than a hundred, I'd say. And how secure is their camp? It's an old abandoned fortress on a hill above Sassau. It's inaccessible from three sides, surrounded by a timber palisade. Bastard! I'll crush that rebel of his! That's easy to say, old friend. It seems Toth isn't taking any chances. Together with Divish, we can muster enough men. And we can all see there's no time to waste. That bastard wants a battle? Much better we pick a time and place than he does. Undoubtedly. We have to take them by surprise. It would be best to attack tomorrow night. We can't get ready any sooner. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Radzig. Henry. I want you to get yourself fixed up and then go straight to Sir Divish of Talmberg. Tell him to assemble all the able-bodied men he can and bring them to Vranik tomorrow evening. We'll wait for him there. Yes, sir. Finally, a chance to show I'm not carrying a sword just for ornament. <laughs> what is it, Henry? Is there something else? The thing is, we have to deal with Zbyshek. I see. And who is he? He ought to hang his murder and a traitor. Uh. Zbyshek is from Skalitz. He helped me escape captivity and saved my life. I promised him a reward for it. Indeed. Well, Zbyshek, if you saved my son's life, I'm grateful to you. As a token of my gratitude, please accept this reward. Thank you, sir. <laughs> he Thank disappeared. You for your <laughs> Under the circumstances, we won't ask how you came to be with that herd of swine at Vranik. So you'd better get out of here quick before I start thinking about it. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, my lords. Thanks, Henry. God be with you. Nice. Get a good meal inside you and get those wounds tended to. You look wretched. And if you need equipment or armor, tell Bernard. He'll give you what you need. Yes, my lord. No more, my lord. I'm your father. I swear, Hal, I plan to tell you. I'm sorry, Ishvan, of all people, beat me to it. But now, we have more urgent matters to deal with, hmm? Later, we'll have time to talk about it. What do you say? As you wish, my lord. Father. Good. Now go to Divish as quickly as you can, son. And I want their armor. Holy crap, that black armor. Um, let's see what kind of armor um, Bernard has. Awake already? I hope you've had a good rest after all you've been through. You might need it. We've got work to do tonight, so get up and get going to Talmberg as soon as possible. You need to rouse Sir Divish and his men for the attack. We'll meet this evening at the Stronghold and settle up with that sly bastard. All right. Well, we don't really need anything. Let's see. Um, set off as soon as possible to give the Talmburgers the message, or they won't arrive in time to help us at Vranjik. Okay. Well, then we don't really have time to do this. I wanted to fix up my armor here a little bit, but that's fine. Um, 
we will ride off. Um, what we could do, I, I cause again, I want to fix up my, my stuff. So I'm going to go really fast, go to the grindstone, fix up the sword, um, repair anything that I need to repair. And I will manually run over cause I think it's faster when, um, you run over yourself. So let's go to the grindstone and we will take this sword. Just keep on keeping on. Keep those sparks going. Alright, I think that's close enough, right? Uh, let's see. 95, good enough for me. Oops. Put it away, Henry. Put it away. Alright, and then let's run over to the armor guy so he can fix our armor if there's any that... Oh, he's not open yet. Dang it. Okay, whatever. I think our armor's good enough. And time is of the essence here. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some food. Because we are hungry. Okay, that's good enough. And we are off. I guess we can just fast travel to Townburg. I don't know. Sh or should we run? I'll guess I'll... I think it's fine. We'll, we'll get there in time. All right, so it's now noon. We've made it to Townburg. Yeah. And we need to hurry up and get to Sir Divish. I think he's up in his quarters. Ah, oh, here he is. Sir, I bring an urgent message from my father, from Sir Radzig and Hanush. <laughs> I take it you've heard. What does your father want from me? I found out who's behind all the unrest in the region, and father and Hanush have decided to put an end to it all. What? So who is responsible for all our recent troubles? You may have met him. Istvan Toth. No, I haven't met him. But Sir Radzik said he'd been here to visit before... before the raid. I don't suppose that's a coincidence. What kind of man is he? What is he after? He's in the service of King Sigismund, and he's fighting the nobility who support King Wenceslas. They've amassed quite a force at the old stronghold above Sasau, and they're planning to attack very soon. Father and Hanush have decided to move first and destroy him before he's prepared. Oh, for Christ's sake. When and how? Tonight. They send word for you to muster your men and rendezvous with them at Vranjik. This is madness. Maybe it is. But I fear that Radzik and Hanush are right. The sooner we cure this pestilence, the better. Gather the men and make ready. We march tonight. Leave only as many as you must to guard the castle. Very well, sir. As you command. Will you be coming with us? Yes, sir. I have some scores to settle with them. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. That's not my armor, but hell yeah. excited to kill some people and saw Sal Let's do it. Let's 
so cool. Well, well, divish. I see you don't want to miss the show. You didn't expect me to leave all the glory to you. Never. We wouldn't dream of starting without you. What news? Did you parley with them? <laughs> we did. Yeah. And what was the outcome? <laughs> Not quite what we hoped for. Radzig wanted to go parley with him in person. Fortunately, I talked him out of it. It seems that this will not be resolved without a battle. Bloody good thing, too. Finally, we'll have some proper entertainment in the countryside. Fortunately, my son here showed immense daring and made his way into the lion's den to spy on them. Tell us what you saw, lad. Okay, well, they've got defenses. And they have soldiers. And, uh... What do you want to know, exactly? <laughs> what is this well, view? Well, let's start with how well fortified they are. The outer palisade goes right around the whole camp. On a small hill inside it, there's a half-demolished farmhouse that's ringed by another palisade. That's where I was held prisoner. And that's where Toth's based. Him and his inner circle. Can you tell us how many tents there are and how they're arranged? There might be fifty. Maybe three score, most of them in the right-hand side of the camp. And the men? How many men strong are they? Quite a few. At least 80. Huh. We don't number much more than that ourselves. We do outnumber them, though, even if only by a few men. And our men are well-armed and disciplined. The foe, nothing but a rabble. From what I've seen, it's best to attack from our direction. How does it look from the other sides? The east side is all rocks, so no hope of launching a major assault from there. On the other hand, that's the way I escaped. It's where they throw all their waste. The heap's already so high, it's almost to the top of the palisade. Now that is interesting. The ramparts are long. If there are as many of them as we think, they can hardly keep watch over the entire length. Attack with full force at the gate, and they won't have enough men at the rear. That's an excellent strategy. But then I'd expect no less from you. If we cause an enormous uproar at the same time, they won't know what's hit them. Uproar? You said they have tents there? Yes, sir. Well, if I'm not mistaken, tents usually burn rather well. And we have quite a few archers. You don't do things by halves, Divish. <laughs> so, I believe we have a plan. Robard will take ten men and sneak to the rear of the fortifications. There's an entry point, but you must remain hidden. I will do my best, sir. That shouldn't be too hard. They'll have other things to worry about. The rest of us will launch a frontal assault. Rain burning arrows on them and then attack. Those bastards won't know which way to turn. At that point, Robot and his squad will strike from the rear. I think it's a good plan. God be with you, my friends. We'll wipe those whore sons off the face of the earth. Let's do it. Let's do it. So ready for this? Listen up now. We are about to meet the rabble that have been trying to hurt us. Pillaging, killing, raping, and generally being a thorn in our side for long enough. They may be hiding behind a stockade, but they are still a pack of curs who are no match for men like you. And tonight, we are going to festoon these trees with corpses. First, we will set fire to their little hornet's nest, then we'll keep them busy by the gate, and when we've made it nice and hot for them, Sir Robard and his men will pounce on them from the rear. Say it a little louder, we'll dude. Pack them to pieces. Have you got it? Yes, sir. Good. Now, when we reach the ramparts, the archers will cover the men climbing it, and the men with the battering ram. Any of these fuckers foolish enough to stick his head outside the stockade is to lose it at once. Understood? Yes, sir! Glad to hear it. Now, let's do it! Forward! 
Build time. Break into the camp. Let's just get some sweet revenge here. It's gonna be a longer episode, but you know what? I don't care. Let's go, guys. Oh, yeah. Do it again. Are we supposed to... Oh yeah, it's burning. They're burning. Yes, and we're charging. Look at this. Let's go. Charge. The red zig. Get the ladder up there. this gate down. I feel like that's doing nothing. There we go, we're in. Get out of here. We almost cleared him out. There we go. That's the gate. Yay. Secure the gate. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk to him or... No, I don't think so. Advance across the burnt ground and secure it. Henry! Go to the man and flush out anyone left around the tent! But they don't creep up on us from behind! Yes. Oh. Get out of here. I can't wait to kill all you bandits. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Let's keep pushing. No need to loot. We've got plenty of money. Oh. We are uh, quite the fighter now, huh? Sorry if it's really dark, guys. It's just a night battle, so it is what it is. Advance across the burnt ground. So we've completed that. We've com we've secured the tents. All right, now we're making our way to the second wall. Oh, you're dead. You bled out. Down with you, bandit, traitorous scum. You guys aren't even getting paid. Like, you're getting counterfeit money. Counterfeit money. Yeah, we done here? Or? There we go. <laughs> Everybody's just like done cheering, like, oh, just stand here now. We got anything good on them? Some groshin? Take that. 
I mean, they got some good equipment here and there. Not gonna worry about it too much, though. Charge! Oh, dear. Oops. Come on, break through! Oh, strength went up! Yes. Breaking through, guys. Dodge this. Oof. There we go. Defeat the bandits once and for all. Hell yeah. Where's that Hungarian bastard? Why isn't he here? Don't tell me no one was in command. It does rather look that way, Hanush. Henry, where's Toth? You said he was here. He definitely was, sir. I've got the cuts and bruises to show for it. We have to find out where he slithered off to. Look for clues. Anything that will tell us what he's doing. Search for, search the homestead. All right, let's get a torch out. I guess we could have done that earlier, but I mean, who's fighting with the torch? Like, come on. All right, we got a letter. <laughs> a letter, that was pretty easy. All right, so let's go to Sir Radzig. We report to my dad first. Or really, okay, anyone here. So Hanush, where is he? Hanush, oh. So this was all I could find. A letter? What does it say, Radzig? Alongside hunting, drinking, and swordplay, you might find time for a little study, old man. In the courts of Prague, every Tom, Dick, and Harry can read nowadays. Yes, well, here in the countryside, we don't give a tinker's curse about such things. Huh. That's what I've got a scribe for, anyway. Now, what does the damn thing say? It appears to be written by Toth, but it doesn't say to whom. It says everything is going according to plan, and the castle should soon be taken. What do you need a castle for? Sir, we took this one alive. And it seems he's not just some ordinary spear carrier. Where's that rat Toth? Where did he go? Speak, damn you! He's thwarted you again, hasn't he? <laughs> if you play your cards right, you might come out of this in one piece. Where is your lord? He was here yesterday, wasn't he? Come now, sir. We both know where I will end up. <laughs> My lord is gone. He took most of the men and left. Where is he gone? What is he planning? He writes here about taking some castle. Which castle? <laughs> oh, some nearby castle. Left completely unguarded. Now I wonder where it could be. <laughs> what are you saying, you horse son? Talmberg. Did he go to Talmberg? <laughs> You'll never get him. He'll never get... We are planning on sending him to some monastery to become a monk. <laughs> I believe we have some work to do, Sir Divish, do we not? Mount up, gentlemen. We don't have any time to waste. All right. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we're getting close to the end, guys. Getting close to the end. Old, who goes there? Greetings. We, we were ambushed. We need assistance. We have wounded men here. Open the gate. The Lord be praised. Here, come on. 
Lady Stephanie, I, I really don't think we should... Oh my god, Lady Stephanie, too. My lady. Master man! Come on, master! My men are gravely wounded. Without treatment, I'm afraid they won't live to see morning. Not to worry. We'll take care of them. My lady, you have my uttermost gratitude. No, Stephanie. Every Christian should help his neighbor in his hour of need. That's not why you're just True. horny. Especially now, when treachery and deception surround us on all sides. Get out of the way! The devil lurks in the shadows. Come on! And one fears taking a guest into his house. And that lady Stephanie's like, oh, I kind of like this. <laughs> oh, oh no. We're too late. to clear out this camp payback has been completed right, we don't we don't need the torch anymore get out of here scum these bandits out of here Whoa. Blocking my shot here. Yes, good job, guys. Yes. Keep pushing, men. Cleared them out, right? There's nobody left. Oh, we gotta, we gotta open the gate. How do we get up there? Quick, quick, quick. I think I gotta go up this way. Hurry! Oh, jeez. Open the gate! Wait, did I? Where? The gate's here. Okay, I was like, wait, that's not the gate. Don't let him close it. Charge him. Come out! 
out, you rat! Come out and fight like a man! <laughs> I don't think so. I like it better right here. Would you rather hide behind my wife like some mangy whelp? I could just as easily cut her throat! I have hostages enough. And strong walls to protect me. Bring him here! What? Dude. Radzig. Radzig? What do you want, you viper? Let me think. Oh, actually, there's nothing I want from you. Except maybe to see you all die. Fire! Burn it down! Damn you. Damn you. This is epic, guys. Just epic. Christ. Uh, are you all right? Uh, I'll live. Oh. Whew, but I don't think I'll be wielding a sword for a while. Oh, we have men enough for sword wielding. A good lord is harder to come by. How the hell did they get Radzik? I didn't make it to the gate. He was charging against reinforcements from the castle. We have to save Sir Rab my father, somehow. And we have to save my wife and get our home back. My friend, I think you know as well as I, we have to lay siege. No! No, that is our last resort. We have to try all our other options. Sir, if a few men could scale the western wall after dark, maybe they could get inside, free the hostages, and open the gate. That is, if they're holding them in the courtyard, as we've always done. Well, that's a big if. What if they're seen and they can't raise the portcullis quietly? Sir Hanish, if we can save just one hostage, It's a perilous undertaking. Who would you send? I'll go. Then let us make ready. Townberg under siege. So, kind of, we're going to do a, a mission here. But, unfortunately, guys, we're out of time. We got a bunch of Groshin. Um, so, we're just going to... get ready for the night raid. Some light clothing would be best. Dark colors. Yes. All right, so we'll end the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. This was a lot of fun. We had so many epic battles in this one, which is awesome. Uh, but thank you so much for hanging out. I do appreciate you guys so much. And soon we'll have the next episode out. So thank you, and I will see you next time on the battlefield.